All right, let's take a look at the rubrics in Google Classroom. And what I'm going to share with you is a spreadsheet that I created to make this process easier uh, for you guys. So if you're looking at an assignment, uh, whenever you create one, you have the option to add a rubric here. And you can create one here. And notice the criteria is required, and so are the points. Uh, it's kind of clunky, though, and this isn't my preferred method of, of doing this. All right, you also have the option of importing from Sheets. All right, so here's the template that I created. And what you would do here is, of course, go to File, make your own copy so you can edit this. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, this is the template. OK, please don't edit this. What I would recommend doing is going over here and duplicating this and then rename this like, I don't know, I'm going to call this day one for right now. It's fine, whatever. And when you use Google Classroom to import from Sheets. You're going to select this spreadsheet, but just know that whatever spread, whatever one of these sheets is first, that's the one that it will import from. So we're going to want to take this day one and drag it to the left. Um, the beauty of this is that you can keep using this one document and have a bunch of different uh, rubrics in here. And just as long as whatever one you want current to, to use currently, you just push that to the left. Uh, you can just have all of your rubrics housed in one file, which is really nice uh, and convenient and organized. Uh, you would just keep duplicating the template and then renaming them something appropriate. Now here I have uh, two criterions. All right, you'll see one and two, but if I wanted that to be three, I can easily do that as well. Okay, you need titles here. I'm going to call this title ASDF. I'll call this one GHJK, and I'll call this one uh, QWERTY. All right, uh, and you can put descriptions in there as well. You don't have to, and know that if you wanted five points instead of four, you could do five, four, three, two, one, and then zero. And you'll notice that these also, these points get dropped down as well. I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people will use the same points for each one of those different categories. But if you didn't, suppose you only had five, four, and three, you can come in here and just get rid of these guys. All right. Um, so you, definitely, you have a lot of flexibility here. That's the nice thing about not messing up this template. There are formulas in here, but just write over them if you need to, okay? if you want to change this at all. All right. We can make this three, two, one. All right. Put in your points titles, those aren't required, and a description is not either, but the number of points are required. Um, and then what you're going to do is go back to your rubric here. We're going to import from Sheets. And the first one that, if you were just editing this, that should be the first one that comes up. I'm going to hit Add. All right, and now you can see we have ASDF, 543210, and then we have GHJK321. And then we have QWERTY as well. Um, all right, and then you can hit Save. All right, and next time you need to do this again, just come over here, go down to the template, duplicate it, push that document all the way to the left, and then edit away.